The State Department of Transportation is using new technology with the goal of making your drive on interstates a lot smoother. CBS 17's Galat Malamud is live for us tonight in Raleigh. And Galat, they're using drones to do that. How is that going to work? I think we all would like a much smoother drive. Rod, yeah, they're hoping that this gives people here along interstates like 440 a smoother drive. You know, they already use drones for things like accident reconstruction, but this is the first time they're using the drones just to focus on the traffic caused by those accidents. NCDOT's latest technology is taking flight. This drone is attached to NCDOT's traffic control trucks. NCDOT's Jennifer Portanova says the drone's ability to go 150 feet in the air and send video in real time to the operations center will provide a better picture of the backup caused by a crash. What we're really trying to get is situational awareness of what's going on so that we can provide the right information to motorists. The drones can cover areas where the DOT's traffic cameras don't reach. Ultimate goal would be to clear incidents quicker. Obviously, if we can clear them quicker, hopefully we don't have a backup. The DOT is testing two different drones as part of a year long pilot program put to the test for the first time three weeks ago at this crash on US 13 near I 95. We got to see something in real time that typically we would be getting phone calls to say, you know, somebody would tell us what's going on and those, the, that information might be delayed. We can see it for ourselves. Thomas Walls with NCDOT's Aviation Division says the drones can be used beyond backups from crashes. Traffic congestion, traffic crashes, um, just, you know, they could be monitoring uh, traffic at, say, sport events. Portanova says the DOT's information will be picked up by navigation apps. Welcome news to this driver. Anything that would help travel, because even with the GPS, it's not always accurate as far as where the accident is and how far the backup is. Right now, the drones are being used in the Fayetteville area. The DOT says that they should be coming to the Triangle in the next couple of months. Now, once this year-long pilot is over, the DOT has to decide if it wants to continue using these drones. Live in Raleigh, Gilat Malamud, CBS 17 News. Very interesting stuff indeed, Gilat. Thank you.